a mat and this is not enough tech. When it comes to home automation, there's more to Zigbee than just Agara devices. I've talked about Agara before and now I've got Benex Smart uh, kit, which consists of uh, the bridge itself, so it's just a wired router that's going to connect to your um, Zigbee devices. And it comes with this set, it comes with three different devices. There is your temperature sensor with humidity. Uh, you can stick it anyway, it has a sticker on the back and going to update the temperature. And there is a very cute and small motion sensor. I honestly love this thing um, because of the size of it. It's really, really tiny. And uh, I have a door sensor. Uh, which works with a magnet, so you just uh, put it on a door of window frame and it will tell you when uh, the door has been opened. So those three sensors. Now, this is compatible with the Tuya Smart app and I've not used this app before, so I gave it a go. I was a little bit hesitant at first because it's, you know, it's a yet another smart automate, automation app. However, the app is quite well designed. It actually reminds me of uh, Xiaomi Mi Home app. So I'm quite pleased to say that uh, the app is all right and uh, I'm gonna show you how it works. The pairing is really simple. Just click on the plus in the app, select your uh, sensor or device you want to link and then press the button and hold it until you see the tiny LED blinking on the sensor itself. Keep both together, your phone and the sensor near the Zigbee bridge. And in a couple of moments, you'll see confirmation that your device has been successfully linked. One of the things I like about this is how responsive it gets. As soon as you activate the sensor, you get notification on your phone. It's really, really fast. The sensor is small. It has a sticker on the back in case you want to mount it on the vertical surfaces. And it has a button for pairing. In addition to that, if you press on the button, it will send a current reading of the temperature. Now the app itself has a history of a temperature and humidity which you can trace and it has also alarms for the battery so you could get a notification when the battery is running low. The PR sensor is probably the smallest I've seen in a while. It's absolutely cute and adorable and it's super responsive as well so notification comes to your phone almost instantly. Unfortunately, PR sensor doesn't come with any sensitivity or uh, daylight adjustments, so everything has to be controlled uh, from the app itself. Lastly, there is a door sensor with a log of when the door has been opened and closed as well. Now, this is a simple hole sensor, so it works with a magnet. If you move the magnet about an inch apart from the sensor, it gets activated. The app itself comes with automation tab in which you can select your trigger, whether it's a, as one of the sensors or temperature level outside or even a time. And then you can activate an uh, action, which is going to be probably either going to start a light or a recording of something or execute an entire scenario, will, which will consist of multiple actions. The app itself supports a lot of different services, so you can use your uh, Amazon Echo, Google Assistant, IFTTT and a couple of others. You can even synchronize your Google Fit data, which means uh, this environment has smart scales, etc. Right, I'm actually quite happy with the kit because it's very responsive. Now, the next write-up is going to be obviously integrating this with my Raspberry Pi because I want to try to use all the sensors that I've got in here with Raspberry Pi and CC2531 USB to Zigbee stick. Now that's going to be one of the write-ups and then I have two very cool projects using door sensors. So if you want to learn something really cool that you can do with your door sensors, just do follow me on social media, especially that I do not have a posting schedule. So if you want to know when the next write-up is up and uh, posted and ready for you to read or watch, just follow me on social media and you'll get your notification. As for now guys, thanks so much for watching. More details about this kit is in the description. So if you're interested in buying one, I'll just use the link from the description and I'll appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.